Okay, we got some stuff to talk about. So, have you ever wondered, in the state of affairs in America, how did we get here? The migrant influx, no control at the border. Let's defund the police. Remember when all that was going on? Defund the police, which led us to all the crime. <laughs> let's not, let's not, t uh, you know, worry about people catching the people crossing the border, chucking them back. How'd we get here? How, how did we get into this state of affair to where it's just kind of chaotic, right? It's just kind of chaotic, you know? Let's defund the police. Racial divide. Where did all this come from? All, all of a sudden, everything's going fine. The car's driving good. And all of a sudden, a monkey wrench got thrown in the fan belt. Fans, fans spinning around. Boom. Boom. Okay. Car jerks over to the side of the curb, and here we are. How'd we get here? How did all this happen? Overnight, it seems like, right? All of a sudden, we wake up and, like, what the hell is going on? Why is there so much chaos? Why is there racial divide? Why, 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 why? All these questions. Well, we were going along before that monkey wrench. Police were doing what they were supposed to do, locking people up. Didn't have, didn't see people on a consistent basis, like in some of these cities across the country. Gavin Newsom's uh, San Francisco, just, just throw that in there, where all these businesses are shut down because of theft, homelessness. Why? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Okay. So this is a, a New York Post. And it was published on January 26, 2023, at 6.44 p.m. Eastern Time. How George Soros indoctrinates the next generation. Yes. How is, he, how is he doing this? How is this happening? And how could we have madness with indoctrination? So let's find out find out what's going on. Okay. Bard College had received nearly 80 million total from George Soros when he announced in 2020 that he'd be awarding it an additional 100 million over the next decade. In 2021, Soros offered Bard another 500 million. 500 million. As soon as the college could find donors to match or exceed it, wow, that's some serious dough. This is one of the largest gifts in the history of American higher education. The school's 2020-2021 course catalog thanked Soros for his then recent efforts. Yeah, he thanked them all right. Yeah, they thinking I'm singing all the way to the bank. Now let's take a look. Among the initiatives at the school that Soros money had funded, there's always a catch, included the Hate Studies Initiative, Migration Initiative, and Racial Justice Initiative. Think about that. Think about those three courses. What's happening? What's happening? Hate studies. So, man, they've been pushing it, pushing it, make, making us, making us come to get, to get each other, right? Right? Migration. Racial injustice. It's all starting to make sense now, isn't it? It's all starting to come together. Here we go. Now, here's a lovely picture. Isn't this lovely, John? This is a lovely picture of Bard College. Isn't that lovely? The money best can buy. We spared, they spared no expense. One of the courses that, deb that debuted 
as part of the Hate Studies Initiative, promotes the far left's defund the police hysteria. Defund the police hysteria. The course, the course is titled Abolishing Prisons and the Police and Taunt Students. How to Sell Abolition to the Masses and Design a Multimedia Ad Campaign to Make Prisons Abolition Go Viral. Now, this article started out teaching the next generation. I think they're ahead of the schedule. I think they are ahead of the schedule because uh, this is happening now. You know, I always got to wondering is what we all have conspiracy theories, right? The powers that be, they're making this happen. Well, in a way, it's true. The way it's true. Saul Alinsky's book, Rules for Radicals. What's the best way to overthrow? It's to destroy from within. And then you have something else to just put back in its place. Right? And this is methodical. It's, it's evil genius. Right? It's evil, it's evil Lex Luthor genius level. Right? Let's let's destroy from within because what better way? We have to have police, don't we? Don't we have to have prisons to incarcerate these people? Oh hell no, let's just let them run around. Let's just let them out. We don't need police. And and citizens don't need guns. Citizens don't need guns and we don't need police. Okay. Soros funds students activists through the Trustee Leader Scholar program at Bard, which the college says has had its students leave an impact from the Red Hook to the West Bank. Projects include the Black Body Experience, Bard Palestinian Youth Initiative, Migrant Labor Project, Palestinian Awareness Project, and the Trans Action Initiative, among numerous left-wing causes. This has been an assault to perpetrate on us. They had this in the game bag plan all along. Do you ever stop to think about, you know, nobody gave a crap about trans people, right? I've been to a drag show years ago, by the way, probably 35 years ago, a long time ago. I was working at a restaurant, and they'd all go, oh, we're going out. It was a place called Allen Gold's, and it was fun. We had a good time. A whole group of us went. Maybe there was one or two gay people in our group, gay guys, whatever. Nobody cared. Nobody gave a shit. We go. We have fun. Drag queen come out at mid midnight. At midnight, the show would start. Okay. Nobody cared. Nobody gave a damn. But now, we got to have them in schools reading to our children. We got to have them reading. Talking to them. Dancing in front of them. Wanting to teach trans studies in class like where'd all this come from all of a sudden it just come out i mean i'm thinking back 30 years ago this was going on as far as going to shows to fast forward to now where'd all this come from why all of a sudden in the last year or two this is just ramped up like nobody's business like on speed speed dial speed dial Whatever, right? Just straight down our throats. So much as to so is like, oh, we better take your kid away because, you know, you're being abusive because you don't understand them. And now we're, we're learning Trans Action Initiative. George Soros funding this college on these things. 
There you go. Other university projects funded by George Soros follows a similar theme. Georgetown received $1.8 million for the Justice of the Justice at Stake campaign, a group that believes there aren't enough people of color, women, lesbians, gay, bisexual, transgender persons, and persons with disabilities who are judges. Oh, my God. I never would have thought, oh my God, we need, we don't have enough transgender, transgender judges. What the hell? Uh, transgender judges. Yep, we don't have enough of those. Ohio State University got over a hundred thousand. Oh, they didn't get nothing. Oh man, I bet they're kind of pissed. <laughs> For its Kiwana Institute. For the study of race and ethnicity, which then aided in providing implicit bias training to Los Angeles city workers. Yeah, they just didn't learn nothing, right, as people and learning how to interact with other people. They had to be trained. For implicit bias training. What what's the implicit? <laughs> what is the implicit? Inquiring minds wanna know. We all know. Okay. Osun's goal is to in integrate teaching and research across higher education institutions backed by Soros worldwide. Now, this is happening all over the uh, this is happening all over the world. This is happening everywhere. This guy. It's good to be the king. Boston was picked to serve as the first couch chancellor of the network which expands Soros' network of colleges and research partners in Europe, Russia, Asia, Africa, the Middle East, South America, and the United States. Get them when they're young. Little minds full of mush. Let's get them. Let's get in there. Teach the youth of America, Europe, and elsewhere that police and prisons are the biggest problems of society. We must spend vast amounts on diversity and climate change, and the scent must be censored. We know. The Russell brand got demonetized. A lot of other people's channels got demonetized. I'm not sure if he's... I know he's still broadcasting on YouTube and then he heads over to Rumble. Get them while they're young. Spend vast amount of money. The guy is worth like $25 billion. And he has investment, so that money just... He can, th he can throw $100 million to somebody. He'd probably get that back in investments a, a month later. So he's got his tentacles on the whole world, on the planet, because we need diversity and climate change, and dissent must be censored. We must be quiet. You must shut up. Shut up. Just shut up. And that, in short, is the Soros strategy. Though he does donate to national politicians, he's realized that, that he can push his liberal ideology much more effective in smaller ways. Yeah. He's helped a lot of people. He helped Biden. 
He humped a lot of these libtards across the country. A lot of them. I probably should just sit down and uh, take the time and pick all the ones who he got elected. He can't seem to keep them in office, though. That's the problem. Either they quit, they get run out of town, or they get elected out. Because we really don't want these policies. Because it's hard. It's hard to... To get the human spirit out. That's why they got to get them while they're young. You indoctrinate them while they're young and minds full of mush. You might have a better time throwing this garbage at them. It's just possible. I don't know. I'm just an average citizen. By pushing prosecutors who won't prosecute. Yeah, you know, we all know. Fund act crackers, checkers, classic crackers. <laughs> Fat checkers who allow social networks to outsource what gets censored. Wow. Somebody's pockets are getting lined. I'll tell you what, money changes people. You throw a million bucks at one of these fact checkers, they're like, yeah, I'll say whatever the hell you want me to say, baby. Just give it to me again, then give it to me again, and then I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Yeah, I'm all over it. Fact checkers. Fund them. Who allows social networks to outsource what gets censored? Promote think tanks that educate and pressure journalists and politicians, activists and college students. We've all known for years Colleges is just a breeding ground for liberals to fester their snake-like, slivering, liptarian creature that they've evolved in over decades. It's just a cesspool of liberal liberalism garbage. But they're ramping it up. I don't know. Maybe they think they're running out of time. That's a whole nother... That's a whole nother show. Maybe they're running out of time. They got to hurry this up. At 92, George Soros influences over America. Is it at its zenith? And it took him years and billions of dollars, but the cost to the rest of us is immeasurable. It's immeasurable. These people have been doing this for decades and decades. And this man, now I'm going to post this article and you could read, there's a bunch of stuff at the beginning that he's going to fund Bre uh, Bard College for another decade, right? But this man's probably not going to live another decade. Good Lord, he's 92 years old. He's given, he's get, handed the reins over to his son. But, They don't care. They don't care if they live to see the fruition of their labor. As long as the, the destruction got done. And there, that's what's happening. And there, there he is. George Soros has donated billions to liberal colleges and universities all over the planet. This man is powerful. Powerful. This man is powerful. George Soros indoctrinates the next generation. There you go.
And that is what's happening.